pixel lab um, this pixel lab tool the word pixel pixel is like the smallest unit of um, measurement for graphic designs too so pixel lab you can find your pixel lab on play store especially on play store i think it's quite different on app store so this is the interface of pixel lab this is the interface once you get into pixel lab this is what you see this is really what you see so um i'll be showing you the tools the different elements here uh, how to make use of them so we'll start with top the top two starting from the plus so the plus now includes adding the plus the plus sign is about adding text current the stickers shape from gallery and to draw now watch text you click on text you double tap you can type in whatever you want to type in and then add which is a plus you have current dates also has to be text and numbers you can actually actually delete so you add you can add different stickers you have stickers here emojis stickers and so on so and delete so, so you have from gallery okay shapes you have shapes you can create different shapes you want okay there are, there are fixed shapes here so you can create different shapes circle and so on so make them open um, transparent change their colors and so on so that's for shape okay still under adding the first symbol which is plus remember the plus sign means to add so you can bring in pictures from your gallery bring in pictures from your gallery and so on so and also delete now the last one draw you can actually draw whatever you want to do so it's that simple the next is this icon it means to save now you have two options so either save as save your work as a project or save it just as an image now save as project means once you're done with what you're doing and you want to still go back to that file later on you can save save so once you save it's just here you can revisit it so or you can save your work as an image save to gallery and save so the next is this also save it still has to do with saving too but this this symbol this symbol means to share it means to share so you can just save your work from here you can see your different resolution this default now is a normal um, resolution for your the quality of your um, design so you can see normal resolution custom low medium high very high ultra is the highest um, resolution and whenever you save you can actually share too you can see the share button and so on so this format you see in jpg it means no transparency which is it does not have um uh, it has a background it has a background so no transparency but when you put it png it means it doesn't have a background so next this code sign there are different customized codes here there are different codes here fixed codes that you could um, use while doing whatever you're doing you have positivity codes on positivity and so on so they're just codes you can create yours and the next is this sign this sign is more like the same thing that happens that it has the same feature with the plus sign too so use image from gallery you can get image from gallery to get a full screen where you don't see your two bars and go back so you also have use image from camera export image export image is the same thing as saving too so you have similar stuff you have your image size contact us we have issues as the app owners now tutorial pixel ha pixel lab already has tutorials for um <coughs> though while i was learning to pixel lab i didn't learn the tutorials i had to learn myself so if you feel you need to go through the tutorials no problem but so far i've gone through the tutorials before like a glimpse around it uh i don't think i want to learn from the tutorials so, so remove ads down you have, you have to get a premium stuff so we cover auto save let's say if you've done something before now and you want to go back to what you did you can actually go back by going to recover auto save so if you missed something you forgot to save it you can go back to your previous work. this was the previous job um, i used to design the ebook you just finished reading so recover back so still here you have open plp file plp file means to, uh, pixel lab project file so which is the jobs you've done so far the jobs you've done so far that has been saved so um the next is about you want to know what pixel lab is about then exit too so so we've cleared the top tools the top tools next is this um tool that looks like a go back like a back forward well, that's a backward tool which is close to this zoom tool it's close to this zoom tool this other one here it means whenever you do a job you can reverse you can reverse by clicking you can go back to what you've done 
and so on so you can read pass so the next is the zoom tool now i didn't point at this if you check if you check out still at the left side the second line you have your um like a pencil or pen mark there it means with that pencil or pen mark you can edit whatever you want to edit and then you can either this copy double click to copy and then you have the tt there which is still text you create text you have this which is the rotate you can also see it to rotate um you have this which is the move around you have this which is color which is the color you still have this to push your your text to the front or to the back layer so when you have the next icon there delete which is whatever you tap on you can delete with this button you can delete with this button so remember this is the reverse button you can go back to what you've done you have the next icon zoom you can zoom in whatever you're doing let's say you do a design and it's really tiny so you can zoom into your text zoom into your image and so on and continue your work you can pause it and continue whatever you're doing and you can go back so you have the next one this is a tabular type of design with this tabular tool with this tabular tool or icon you can create tables for yourself you can create even so if you want to create a um, record sheet a record sheet you can create as much as you want to create you can add you can subtract so with this you can do that so the next one you have this um, kite shape two kite shapes it means to it shows you your elements <coughs> whatever you've typed in your shapes and so on so it shows you what you've typed in to your design so you have the text you can delete you can still click here you see those uh, you see those other icons to edit you can lock it which is once you tap it to not move in case you have many written stops so you can hide too so you don't get to see it so we'll be moving to the next one the next line okay before we move to the next bar we'll have to go to the list bar after the list bar here you have these three circle shapes intertwined together you have your a for x you have this your pentagon one two three four five six your pentagon and your square shape with this effect so we're moving to this other tools now what are they for this first tool with a circle with three circles together if you click there you see my project see the same thing a couple of these icons have the same function so under it you still have your background default background you can choose so if i want this or, or this whatever so you have your default background or interface then the next you have um, a this a represents anything text that has to do with text anything text it has to do with text then you come here so now if you click on this a you would not see anything the text features why because you've not clicked on the text itself so now that i've clicked on the text you can now see the features now what are the features you have style now you can either browse the style that is that is that's existing here so you can choose the type of style for yourself you can edit from here remember it's under text you can delete still under text since there's no text now it cannot show this feature so you add the text so let's say happy so let's say happy now under this text you can delete like i said you can copy you can make it to be in front like here it's in front now you can make it to be at the back you will not say because at the back so front or back and bring in your text to the front or back you can position it increase it push it push it or push it small so you can put up so you have your relative position which is it takes it either to the left right front middle faster than ever so you can see when you need to rather than moving it small you can move it faster you have your size you can increase the size decrease the size or use here or let's start decreasing okay you have this padding it's more like moving moving to different okay so so you have <coughs> the colors you can choose any color you want or you create your color by pressing the adding you can click on any color and meanwhile when you, when you do a work for somebody and they're asking you what is the color um, code what's the color code you used businesses and organizations have their different color code so if they are asking you what's the color code you use you can check here we check up you're saying hashtag 181 Four two one. That's the color code. So for different colors you use to design, there are different color codes. So it's not necessary if it's not requested for. So 
um, you can get a gradient, which is gradient is a mixture of two different colors, like a shade. So this is a mixture of white and black. This is a mixture of dark blue and turquoise. Uh, this is a mixture of green and I think black. So, so <coughs> the next you have your texture. Texture is more like with your texture you can create, you can insert an image or insert anything inside the text. Now, what do I mean? For example, if I click on this happy, I can insert an image inside by clicking here. So I choose an image that I want. Let's say I want this my friend to be inside the text. So what do I do? I've added in here. It's inside this happy text. So you can choose this face inside there. Now it's not showing the full happy because that's his, his picture is a PNG file which it does not have background. So but let me choose the picture that has the background. So uh, this is a picture that has a background. So can you see? So this is what texture can help you. Now opacity is the degree of visibility or in invisibility of an object. So I can reduce the opacity to be to not be seen. To not be seen. So when you want something to fade, this is the tool to use. And you have your rotate button. You can rotate move around. Remember you appreciate these tools better when you start practicing. Don't try to cram them when you start practicing you but just know that different tools uh, if you can know that a stands for text this pentagon shape stands for shapes and images and then this for background and this for effect this will help you a whole lot as regards the other tools at, um, at the top they are easy to access okay so we've done texture opacity rotate the mask max is more like you can use this mask shape to create this max tool to create different shape or to clear something choose the particular size you want to show so it's as simple as that so you can be creative enough with this so sometimes people get into pixel lab and you think it's a very complex tool but if if you had a little explanation and if you start working with it it can help you a whole lot it's not as difficult as people think so here you have fonts ab fonts so you can choose whatever fonts you have but well, usually i prefer pixel lab because pixel lab has different um, features and tools that you can use that other smartphone graphic app do not have so pixel lab for me is the combination of a lot of smartphone graphic app including canva pixel lab you don't need you don't need to be online to work with pixel lab so so th these are different fonts but personally there are times i need to use fonts that are not currently here so what i do is that i use texty app so texty app is more like the complementary app we use so now you have style that's the bolding your fonts I think I should create a good background, a lively background, so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, so back to text. So you can use, let me change the font. So you can make it bold in it leaks on the line and then go back. So next, you have your curve, you can create a curve, you can create a curve and go back. So you have a background, you can create the background for your text and go back. So. It's as simple as that. It's as simple, it's as simple, it's as simple. Remember, you appreciate this more when you start designing and practicing. The key here is practice. So, whenever you've written some text, you can align to the left, center, or right. Then you can also space your words, your letters. If they are in, if, they are, if it's a long sentence, you can space, space the words. So, we've done alignment, spacing. You have line spacing. This is especially true for uh, if you have sentences to separate lines vertically. You have stroke. This is more like the stuff that comes behind your letters. So you can choose a color. So, so remember your principles will be handy while designing. The principles of graphic design. You have shadow. You can create a shadow for yourself. You can also choose the color of shadow you want. So remember that too. This tool is for shadow. This inner shadow, you can create an inner shadow. This is to inbox. Inbox is more like making it so not really bold, but um, it's quite brightened. Box top. So, inbox. Next, you have perspective. With this, you can create more cups too. With this, you can. You can choose a particular shape for your text or even shapes. So, so you can make it really anyhow. Really anyhow. You can go back here. So, 
Yeah, your 3D rotates. You can create 3D shapes. 3D shapes. As much as you want. Especially for 3D text. This can create a shape. All those shapes you see in some graphics. You can use this to do them. There's a lot of things that you can use your smartphone to do. Even things that system does, laptop does, or other software does. You can use your smartphone to do the same. So, you have 3D. So you have your 3D shadows, creating shadow beneath your text. You can choose the color, you can uh, choose the color, make it dull, raise it, expand it, and so on. So at last you have your reflections, reflecting the text minutes. Reflecting the text minutes. Now we're done with the text for the text angle. So now you have for shapes. Now if you if you click on this shape, this pentagon. This pentagon sign, if you check out what you'll be seeing there, stickers, imports, draw, shapes, bezier, arrow. Now, uh, it's not showing the main features or the main sub icons on that shapes because there are no shapes. We are only click, we are only clicking on text here. So, but let me show you what the stickers are for. It's the same thing I showed you here, stickers and emoji. Here is imports. So if you check out, we've seen like three imports in three places where you can import different stuff. So let's import this um, text app. Now, this imports with this. To check out how we imported the ship one image so you can now see the different features right yes so let me not click on the ship let's go back to import draw you've seen draw before you can draw whatever you want draw erase go back and so on so you see shapes you can choose the ship still the same thing i showed you at the top now this bezier you can create a ship you can create a ship for yourself so this um Bezel, this bezel, you can actually edit it. You can create different lines you intend creating onto it. So you have this bezel, and you have arrows. You can choose different shape of arrows, create the shapes you want. So choose the colors. So we are done with um, this top side. Remember, when you click on a shape or a picture that's when you get to see the sub icons under the ship so these are the sub icons now remember the sub icons um they are um they look like the other sub icons on that text too so they are similar so what does it mean you have reselect rather than this text here i can reselect um another stuff so another picture here i can delete the delete icon and go back so i can crop choose which to show or not i can copy and delete so i can make it to come in front or to go at the back come in front or to go at the back now i can shift the position it's more like the same thing i showed you on that text relative position to relative size i can make it small you know funny enough i've not really used this relative size wow i'm really grateful i had this relative size now i've not really used this relative size usually what i do is if i need to make it small now press it make it so small and then i'll start moving it but you see i can do this through this wow so we keep learning every day so little size you have color you can show the color now if you check out this more pixel so, so. Uh, texture too now it can take on whatever you put in it remember that texture where we insert the picture inside and stuff so let me say this is the design we did so let's try and insert it I it's taking on the picture here as a texture so it's more like the same thing you can delete it so opacity let me bring this to the front so we can see it front so opacity make it bold or not so i'm going to take off this text so we know our work on shapes to it, to it. so color filter now you can decide i use it a lot for some pictures that are not very quality or they're not very bright so color filters you can change the color and change the color increase saturation increase brightness this is really good too for um editing photos Okay. Now you have stroke, stroke and so, so the same stuff you're seeing on that text so by you are seeing them here too. So you have eraser, you can erase something, erase. What about erase? That's what you show. I see. I go back. You have mask, the same thing I talked about mask. You can I can choose now to bring out only this shape. Bring out only this shape. Be careful. So there's no way to go about this. You must not really if you want to bring out the P and the blue background, 
there's no way to go about this. So. I'm gonna say this now. See? So, but it's not perfect. Well, you can use mask to create this shape. Now, erase color. Erase color has helped me a lot when like, removing some backgrounds. Now, when you use erase color, I can choose to remove this ash here and leave the blue and the white working. How do I do that? If I enable this, usually when you enable it, it removes any white color. So, pick a color that you want to remove. Ash. Click on it. It removes it. You see it? It removes it. If I actually want to remove the blue, what do I do? I pick the blue, I move it. So, if I also want to remove the ash now, I can add, pick, and it removes. So, it's important when you need to remove some stuff from the image you bring in. Now you have rotate, rotate. You have your 3D rotate. You have shape, 3D shape, so you can fix the shape. I use this to create, actually use this 3D shape to create ebooks. to um, make ebooks to take a particular position like their ebooks. And this is what I mean, for example, watch. Uh, imagine this is an ebook. What, what do I do? I simply make it turn like an ebook. Watch, 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 watch. Now it's almost like you, the way you can shape an ebook, right? So. Okay, next, perspective. You can create whatever shape you want. Perspective. I can make it lie down. Let's say this is how we do mock-ups too. So in case you don't know, make it lay down. So it's looking like it's laid down. So you have shadow, shadow is the same thing, inner shadow and box the same thing. Like I put another text. So this is all for shape. And then the second to the last for a round of this video. You have um background. This Two, two squares you're seeing here they refer to background so anything background so under them you see color you can choose a color for your background color for your background don't bother about the too much icons here that you need to learn when you start designing you see the relevant you have transparent now this is a transparent background if you save this it means that whatever work you're doing here is transparent and the background will not be visible there's no background at all so image size now with this icon you can choose the size of your interface or the size of what you're working with now 1280 1280 width and height it means it's a square right so the width you know what width is it's like the breadth or the rather the base or the um, horizontal size why height is the vertical size so if i if i decrease the height watch okay this increase rather if i decrease the height to 600 this is what it looks like this is landscape if i increase to 6000 this is I increase to 6000 this is portrait portrait is when the height is when the height is larger than the width while landscape is when the width is larger than the height so if it's in essence with this you can increase and insert insert your different sizes so cancel I'll go back to so still under your background you have crop you can crop let's say you put in an image can crop now remember this other image and from galleries the image is to choose you can choose the, the background from your pixel lab these are already fixed backgrounds so you can use any of them to work you can use any of them to work i like this background i haven't really used it so we also have from gallery the same thing as speaking now listen when you click on that background from gallery on that background icon it means that whatever image you're inserting from your gallery is fixed but when you take it from here from gallery you can move it i think you should try that when you're doing it so now from camera you take camera picture and then use so this is it for backgrounds next next you have your effects now your effects simply different things you could use effects you have your blow shadow so on fitness noise so you can try out any shadow if you enjoy any shadow you can try if you enjoy any effects any of these effects you can use them so I can like this for example now contrast if I use uh, uh, Q oh I'm falling in love with this one I almost use the design <laughs> so saturation okay so so uh, I think I've exhausted all the icons here so remember these icons will be irrelevant or you will likely forget them if you are not using them to practice. So the more you